Hello, hello, hello. It is Pip here and we are live and it is, what day is it? It's Monday. <laughs> oh dear, I'm still not with it. So it's Monday morning. Well, actually it's Monday lunchtime now. It's 12.02 and today I have a few things to show you. We're going to be working with these delightful things. I'm still trying to get it a bit lighter over here. Um, I thought my little ring light might work, but I think it's too small. So I'll have to work on something else with that. But uh, hi Alina, we'll have to see how that goes with the lighting. Let me see if I can maybe bring this up a bit over here. Mm, it's still a little dark over here. I don't really know why. Because it's not... <clears throat> Should be lighting it up a bit better. Anyway, oh look, we've got loads of you on. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We've got Fiona, we've got Lisa, we've got... I think maybe that's a bit bright over there. There we go. Uh, who else have we got? And We've got five people, apparently. Oops. There we go. That's a bit better. So I've still got this little tiny dark patch here, which I'm trying to sort out. I'm not quite sure why it's so dark. Shouldn't be really, but there we go. We'll just have to stick here in the middle while I get my lighting sorted. Should, should be fine. Hi, Jan. Oh, you're in search of inspiration. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm glad you're watching in from Australia, Lisa. Right, so this is what we're going to use today. But first, before we do that, I want to just show you the beautiful card that I got through the post. Look at this. Isn't this lovely? This was from my friend Jean. And it uses the um, the new Daisy... What's this one? Daisy Lane? Yeah, Daisy Lane. Or was that last year's? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I'm sure it's Daisy Lane. Um and then it's got these beautiful little gold bits on. And I'm not quite sure where these gold bits come from, but they look gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. So yeah, I always like to share a few things that come. I'm sure somebody else sent me something, and I don't know what I've done with it. I've put it somewhere safe. It's always a, always a mistake. Okay, so today we are doing something based on um, a project I saw from a friend of mine. Uh, Carol Carden. No, not Carol Carden. Carol's watching. Hello, Carol. Robin Carden. <laughs> Let's get it right, Pip. Let's talk about your friends correctly. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get my card stock out and it's being particularly obnoxious back here. So, never mind. We're getting there. Good, good. Right. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, my friend Robin posted some gorgeous um, ideas for tags. And I thought, oh, that's nice. Oh, hi, Ange. See you later. Hi, Jenny. Nice to see you on here. More afternoon or whatever. I'm just searching for another bit of cardstock. Never mind. We'll go, we'll go with these. Uh, I am feeling a little bit better after last week. Yes, the good news is they've changed their minds and now they do want to come down. So all is good again. So hopefully, fingers crossed, life will continue. Good. OK, so that's what we're hoping anyway. I don't need that one. That's got bits on it. Right, so, well, we can just use the outside of that one, probably. Right, so, yes, yeah, so my friend Robin did some wonderful things with Perfectly Plaid and the gorgeous Perfectly Plaid paper and some lovely gold. So I'm going to just show you what she did because it, it's just genius. And then we're going to do some stamping and some punching and all that kind of joyous stuff, okay? And we're going to use glitter paper and foil and it's just going to be just like delightful. OK, so we're going to do some of that. And then I'm going to show you how I immediately looked at it and thought, oh, oh, I could step that up and change that into something else. So, because, you know, that's just how I roll. So we'll do that too. OK, so perfectly plowed. If, no, if, you, if you've been hiding under a rock. Hi, Deb. I'm glad you're feeling chilled. Um... If you've been hiding under a rock and you don't know what Perfectly Plaid is, Perfectly Plaid is a suite in the Christmas catalogue, which looks like, she says, where's my Christmas catalogue gone? Here we go. So let's find it in here. It's also part of this 25 products for under 25 quid, which is a really good little um, thing. If you want to buy somebody you know who's a crafter a little present, this is a great list. I put it up on my Facebook page. I'll put it up again just so that you've got that list, because it's always good to find stocking fillers for people who love crafting, don't you think? I always think that's true. Okay, so here we are. 
um, we have all of these gorgeous products in this suite. I didn't get the bells, but apart from that, I've got everything else. Oh, where have I put my ribbon? Oh, just realised I haven't got my ribbon. I need my ribbon. Hold on. Let me go and find my ribbon. It's here somewhere. Where's my ribbon gone? There it is. This is my closed version, but that's okay. We can use this one. Right. So I've got the ribbon, she says, grabbing this. And the gold boxes are lovely. Now I might I might depending on how quickly we go today and how my how your patience goes, you know, we might go with we might we might get the boxes out to you. But this is the beautiful ribbon. Hi Jenny. Isn't it lovely? So pretty. Uh, and then it goes with a coordinated set of papers, a punch and a stamp set. So obviously I've got the stamp set and the punch and these are the papers. And on one side, they're a speciality set because on one side of them, they've got this beautiful gold foiling. And on the other side, we talked about these before. I showed you these before. We did a, a dashing deer with those, I think, last week or the week before. <coughs> so you get 48 in a set, six by six. So you get shed loads. That's probably the best term to use, shed loads. <laughs> um, yes, just a lot. Lots and lots which you can use to do lots of different things. One of the nicest things that we can do with them, of course, is to stamp and punch them because that's what the set's all about. So despite the fact that it is just tartan and you'd think it's a little bit weird for a, for a Christmas thing, although tartan is quite Christmassy, I do know that, but I actually find that this one is my favourite stamp out of the lot. I thought it this one and the, the one that looks like a tree, I'm enjoying this and this one. I'm really enjoying that. So um, I don't know why this is so dark over here. It's really dark here. I wonder if I switch my big light on whether that would make a difference. Does that help? No, not much. I have to say. I will have to try and find my other light. I don't know where I put my other light. No. I don't know where I put my other light. I had another light that sort of came here-ish, down here. So we could put another light down here. I think I'm going to have to find that one because I like it with my new phone because you can see things better. Okay, you can see stuff better, but it's a bit dark down here and I'm not quite sure why, considering we've got so much light going on. There we go. Now that's even worse now. That down. Okay, so let's get on with this. Stop faffing around about your lights. So the colours that I'm going to use for this are um oh get your words together, Pip. This is Night of Navy and this is Cherry Cobbler. Okay, so we'll stamp a couple of both of each, of both, of each, of each, of both. So we'll just stamp these up, and these are very try not to get that in the shadow of the thingy. They're very easy. I probably should be using, yep, yeah, I should be using my phone map. There you go. That's what happens if you use your phone map. If you don't use your phone map, see, it goes a bit wishy-washy on the edges. Whereas if you use your phone map, you get a much better impression. See, much better. So there you go. Now you can see the difference in what they look like. Okay. So, yeah, it's just really odd. I've got this whole kind of like shadow across the bottom of my screen. It's very strange. I'm going to have to move up here, I think. Right, so that's that one. Then let's clean that one off. Get my scrub out. Um, a little tip for you. If you've only got a little bit of stamping mist left, which is what I have, um, I've just added some water to my bottle. Okay, just a little bit of water to my mist bottle. And there's enough mist on the sides of the um, container that it still smells like mist and it still works like mist. So that's just like an emergency last minute if you're running out like me. OK, so then I'm going to use my cherry cobbler. Sorry, I'm moving it over there because I'm running out of space that's got light. Here we go. So then we're going to do cherry cobbler. Look, I don't know why I've stopped. I need to do a couple of these. Do some cherry cobbler. Might come back in, do some more. I'm planning on making quite a lot of these, just so that you know. <laughs> these may end up being swaps for a certain thing that I'm going to. Who knows? Because I haven't actually started on my swaps for on stage yet. Shh, don't tell anybody. 
feel dreadful that I haven't done that, but I've been so busy with other bits and pieces, I just haven't got round to it. Oh, heavens, stop it. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I've just been busy. Just busy with mum and dad. <sighs> busy despairing of mum and dad. <laughs> Thankfully, busy organising mum and dad again. So, yeah, just lots of stuff going on. And also, I have my silver reception tomorrow for all my lovely teamies who have um, achieved or stayed silver and above. So there are six of us having afternoon tea in the morning, as you do. Um, we're going to go and have afternoon tea, do a spot of crafting. I'm going to spoil them and treat them because, you know, they're just amazing people uh, and they do a fab job so that's going to happen tomorrow and also tomorrow we're going to be um, announcing our team awards which if you're in my team and you don't know what they are um, I always do a top sales and top recruiter of the year and this year I'm going to also announce because we've got so many in the team now I'm also announcing the top three places not going to not going to do figures not going to you know do any of that but I just want to say a big shout out because they've just been amazing. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to um, tomorrow night, hopefully, watch the party that is stamping up announcing all of the Global 100, Top UK, uh, all the top countries in the UK, like in the world, all their top, top things. So last year I was in the top 10 and in the top 100. And I don't know if I've done enough. It's been a it's been a hard year with all of our things with customs and all that kind of stuff. And it just depends on how marvellously well other people are doing. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know whether I will be in that again or not. But it's always nice to maybe watch and see and cheer on all my friends. Because I know so many of them now from across the world. It's always nice to to cheer them on. Now I've just gone through and I've punched all of that without actually explaining what I'm doing. So I'm actually just lining up my tree and you can see it's really easy. So easy to do. Just punching and it just pops out. And there you go. There's a whole bunch of trees without really even thinking about it. I'm now going to do the next set of things, which requires my other punch, which I've also left on the shelf. There we go. Um, so we're going to get some more Whisper White cardstock out. But the good news is I can start using up all my ends. I have so many of these ends from our charity event day because we chopped a lot of cardstock. <laughs> so we chopped so much cardstock. And we got left with all these ends and i'm not throwing them away no. no 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 we don't throw these things away do we not at all so i'm i'm slowly working my way through so we're all going to have lots and lots and lots of long sentiments on things in the upcoming months now again with these you don't need to be particularly careful in the sense that you don't have to get it perfectly straight because i'm just going to punch it out so we'll do some ho ho ho's, ho ho ho, ho ho ho. You just need an, enough room so that you can punch it out with the classic label punch. There we go. What do we think of this new doing it with my phone? I know it's a bit darker, but can you see better? Can you actually see everything a little bit clearer? I I I hope you can, but I'll be led by what you tell me that's probably enough blue <laughs> deb says don't remind me yeah that was uh that was about all the cutting and chopping yes Deb and allison were were my partners in crime for all of that cutting and chopping thankfully we won't have to do that again for a long time she says although everyone keeps telling me are we going to do it again <laughs> maybe next year we did do good. Did you see the pictures last week I put up from when we went to give the the people the check at the at the hospital? Such a fun day. We got to see the nurses, meet a couple of the nurses from St Luke's, which is lovely, and have our photograph taken and all that kind of stuff. And I've been very remiss. I'm meant to send it out to my local paper. I must do that this week and just get that sorted because they could do with a bit more um, a bit more notice about what they do at St Luke's. It's, they do a great job. Right, there we go. So that's that. Do we need more? 
Am I going? I'm just going. Oh, Carol says, yes, she can read the words. Good. It's better than it was before, I think, on my webcam, which kept trying to move up and down and wasn't really great. So that's good. My cherry cobbler's gone a bit inky. Okay, so we'll clean those off. Um, and you can see I'm in mass production mode at this point. Okay. <laughs> Normally I only make one thing on here, or maybe two. Uh, <laughs> you're like, now you're like, what is she doing? She's just chopping and stamping and <laughs> yeah, this is how I roll when I'm doing when I'm doing um, stuff for team training swaps, on stage swaps, all that kind of stuff. I sort of get myself into a bit of a you just get yourself into a bit of a a motion, not the locomotion. That's something completely different. And now you'll all be singing that for the rest of the afternoon. Sorry, didn't mean to do that um <laughs> let's just see how we're doing here oh yeah there's loads of room actually on this strip so you can get at least three out of a, one of these strips and this is off the side of one piece of cardstock so you can get that's that's not bad is it that's pretty good so just line it up punch it out or oh, you can see that really clearly i think good so this is good i can almost even line it up using just the camera look at that it's not bad Right, okay, I'll stop there, otherwise we will be going on all day. <laughs> and you want to see what I'm making, right? Okay, so what I've got here is I've got some <gasps> gold foil. Love a bit of gold foil, we like the sparkly. Then uh, this is cut to two inches by four inches, and I'm doing it in inches purely because it's a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, and it just chops perfectly into four and two, okay? And then I've got a piece of the perfectly plaid, which I've cut down to one and three quarter inches. No, this is one and three quarter this way by three inches that way. And we need a bit of a gap at the top. OK, these are very similar to the tags that I was making um, with the kids at the Lakeside Fun Day the other day. We did them, but we didn't do them in gold foil. Sadly, I'm not that generous. So <laughs> we did them in um, cardstock just and paper. But they came out pretty. So we're going to punch a few glitter trees now. <gasps> yes. Glitter. Yummy. And I know you're going to tell me off probably for wasting paper. But, you know, I'm live on, I'm live on Facebook. We need to move swiftly. OK. So just make sure that you get all your glitter out of that. OK. You don't want it stuck in the mechanism. Oh, look, it looks like Christmas. <laughs> OK, so we're going to attach these to this. Where's my snail? Right, so we're going to just attach this to the snail straight down onto, that's got a dodgy corner on it. See, so we'll attach it like that. Straight down there. Whoops, straight pip down there. Oh, not straight, not straight. Ah. Oh, I should have used Tombow, then I could move it. Close enough. Nobody will know. You won't tell anyone, will you? <laughs> Straight down here. Why am I not using Tombow? Because I thought this would be quicker, but only if I get it right. No. Straight down there, that's better. Okay, then we're going to use some glue dots. Um, this was a tip from Robin, and she's right, because things don't stick to glitter very well. So we're going to we're going to be making these. So we're going to stick a couple of glue dots just on the left hand side of the tree. Okay, oh, no. left hand side of the tree. Hi Hannah. Uh, Hannah, I keep doing that. Hi Linda, how are you? Uh, and also probably one sort of central ish. Central but towards the edge. Oh no, that was well, well never mind. That'll do. That'll do. Um, and you're just going to offset. Oh, I know, I know all that gold is being lost, but it's not really because it's there. And we know it's there. Okay, so we're just going to offset that. Then we're going to use some dimensionals. My favourite thing. And we're going to use. Actually, I probably could have just offset it a little bit more. And the good thing with glimmer is because it really does it doesn't like sticking very much. You could probably just do that. Yeah, let's do a little bit more because we need a little bit more tree, I think. OK, so then we're going to pop these down with 
dimensionals and take that off and I should have probably punched this actually let's do that let's punch this first through my tag topper punch now I didn't realize because I haven't got it but the new punch the new one of these tag topper punches is a bit more like our triple banner punch you can punch different widths I didn't know I didn't know that so I learned that from the lovely Robin so that's good to know so we just punch this one as well so I'm using the scallop tag punch which um, I think is still available but apparently there's a new one out which I need to have a look at because it's a bit different to this one I thought it was the same but just with a different top on it I didn't realize it had different functionality right so then we pop this on here like so there we go oh no a bit higher ooh, ooh. <laughs> forgot I've got to put my words on yet bit higher bit higher like so there we go and then we get the other little tiny mini dimensionals and we pop them along the center of here I knew I'd forget something there we go. oops upside down no put it the right way around look at that now see I think that is cute okay and then you just pop your tag in like pop your um, if you want to use it as an actual tag you can use this ribbon okay like this and I always put mine in like this so I put the the um, folded over end in here and then pull these up together like that and then you get just a, a bit of a knot showing at the top like that but then it allows you to tie that onto your onto your presents and so there you go there's a nice tag for Christmas and then if you want to do see what the red one looks like we can do the red one let's do this one a bit better than the first one Pip okay pop these down together you can kind of offset them any way you like really up down sideways however you fancy okay dimensionals and then pop these on they're great aren't they really cute and if you really 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 liked your people and you wanted to go even more even though you've already done the foil and the glitter and the and the lovely ribbon you could finish them off with some holiday rhinestones as well um, but that might be going a little bit over the overboard I don't know what do you think you liking you're not liking you're being very quiet over there hopefully you're eating your lunch and just enjoying watching but I think these are great ideas and I thought that was lovely tags marvelous who doesn't love a tag do you know what I mean then I thought but you know what we could make that into a card so I thought how better than to have a matching card and tag right so let's see how this would work let's go with one of the green ones okay so we'll just pop that over there so I, sh I did my shaded spruce ones earlier here's one I made earlier but um but you could you could use any of the colored papers I don't know that we have any green 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 ones do we maybe I I've seen lots of blue and I've seen lots of red. Have I missed one? Shall we have a look? Yeah, the glitter card's cool, isn't it? Oh, here we go. I suppose this would be... That's kind of more green than red, isn't it? Let's do some of that. While we're here, let's do some of that. Yeah, doesn't it? It just lifts it, Carol, doesn't it? It just makes it really kind of zhuzhy. Right, so these, as I said before... These are cut to one and three quarter, which is about, if you're going to do metric, it's about five centimetres for the outside and then it's about four and a half centimetres for the inside, okay, if you're doing metric. If you're doing imperial, it's one and three quarters by three, and if you're doing metric, it's ten, 
10 by 7 basically so you get a little bit less here and a little bit less there or t t sorry 10 by seven and a half but that's just you know if you wanted to do metric which i'm all for doing metric all my instructions are generally in metric unless i'm doing something that is based on a piece of 12 by 12 and just happens to work better in inches because sometimes things do work better in inches that's just the way it's the way of the world i don't know why some things just work out better in inch dimensions and centimeters maybe it's just the way my brain is trained to work on certain things i don't know right so let's do so the idea here is that we're going to do the, the christmas tag as before no change okay but with the shaded spruce just because we're doing shaded spruce this time because i've done the other two um, but it doesn't have to be you can do it with any of the colors pop the little thingies on glue dots tree dimensionals okay and if you wanted to you could put a mini dimensional on the on the on the legs as it were you could pop one of these up here just so that the tree trunks have also got um, some stability if you wanted to that's up to you now of course what I haven't done is I haven't done any green ho 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 so let's do some of that did I clean it yes so my shaded spruce is up here so let's quickly do a shaded spruce because it, it wouldn't look the same if it was in a different colour although technically of course you could put it in cherry cobbler because it's on the same um it's on that paper isn't it so the paper's got cherry cobbler and shaded spruce in it so technically you could but i like to go colour to colour that's just me okay here we go that's it. Lovely. Right. Close that up. Now, rather than putting my um, ribbon through, okay, we're going to do something a little bit different when we put it on the card. I'll just pop the just pop the words on. Okay, so we know that these are gorgeous, right? These are lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, you, I mean, that your gifts would look so pretty with those, and they're so quick and easy to make. I'm just going to get rid of a... You do get a little bit of rubbish, though, so you have to just keep clearing up the desk. Right. Then what I thought was, I think it would look even better. Not even better, but it would look just as good if we did this. So... We need to have a piece of whisper white. Now, the question is, do I leave that big border or do I put it somewhere else? But look, you can literally just put the tag onto your card. You can emboss the background. We could have, I don't think I've got any cherry cobbler bits. I don't have any cherry cobbler bits here. No bits, no cherry cobbler. I've got lots of pink. You can tell I've been going through my cherry cobbler. So let's just, is that real red or cherry cobbler? That's real red. Because the other thing you could do is you could cut a cherry cobbler base. So let's just see what it looks like with that. And you can decide. It's up to you which one you, you know, which one you want to do. That's the joy of, it's the joy of stamping. And paper crafting is you get to make your own decisions. Right. So cherry cobbler 14.4 by 10 whisper white 13.9 by nine and a half pop that on there pop that on there and then it rather than tying a bow like a, a loop i'm going to do a bow of course everyone who knows me knows oh she's off again with her bows 
but it will look just beautiful I think just a little bow don't need a massive one maybe a little bit bigger than that to just pop on there look at that so so cute so yes I love cherry cobbler too Fiona it's such a warm oh I'm seeing a heart oh I saw a heart that's nice thank you yeah and you could do all three together if you turn them around I think they would fit I'll have to check that in a second but these colors together just pop they're just lovely there we go now as I say you could emboss the white that would also work but obviously I'm not I haven't got my big shot out with me today so uh, you'll have to leave, use that leave that to your imagination but look at this pop that on there now remember we don't do we don't do Tombow on the back of foil because it shows through. So that's why I had my snail out. So lots of snail. Pop this down probably about here. So you've got like an equal border coming around the bottom. Like so. Straight glue dot. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. There you go. How cute is that? that lovely oh, I think that's just adorable and you could move it up or down a little bit maybe have a little bit of gold showing at the top like that and there's your little bow done so there you go so you could make one with green or red or blue and I thought yep yeah, like those really really nice okay and if you wanted to can you have the all three together no probably not It'd be a bit tight Fiona to put all three you could do three trees easily but not all but not three tags not unless you had a massive card okay so that's a nice Christmas card with a coordinating tag or even an exact match so that's nice isn't it using the colors that we've got here and then I thought hmm, what else can I do how about if I change it up a little bit how about if I did it in a completely different colorway so we're still going to use there's my bits oh what have I done with my bits oh there they are so we're still going to use the perfect perfectly plaid paper okay because this is nice but we do have these white ones come here we do have these white ones in the pack okay which have a little bit of cherry cobbler on but they are quite plain oh, look, hundreds of them. okay and I thought this is a perfect opportunity to mix and match it with one of my other favorite colors <gasps> this is the blueberry bushel from noble peacock okay so rather than foil we've got foiled paper designs and I think the designs are big enough that they cope with the lines being different if you didn't want to do that you could of course just use the ordinary just the ordinary blue foil okay so you could do that now obviously we need to stamp a tree and the tree needs to be in blueberry bushel because otherwise we're not matching are we oh there's angela's back again excellent did you pop off did you have to nip off somewhere pesky work getting in the way again so let's just clean this so now i'm bringing out my blueberry bushel and that's my bit of paper can I fit another one in there? Yes, of course I can. Let's, let's just chop this out like this. There we go. I'll stick one in there. Get my pad out because we know it doesn't work without my pad. Okay, so this is going to show you the difference with the blueberry bushel. Okay. Can you see how bright that is in comparison to the navy? So it is a it is a brighter blue, okay. Which is why I kind of love it. <laughs> Do love a bit of bright blue. Hi Nikki. Nikki's watching. So yeah, so a bit of bright blue. And then we just do exactly the same as we did before. But of course we can't do gold that we you know, because we've got blue as our background. So we can't do gold as our background. So that's okay. We have plenty of other colours to work with in the Stampin' Up! world. 
which is why we all love it so much, don't we? Because we all love the colour coordination. So here we go. Now we have a blueberry bushel tree. And we're going to have some blueberry bushel ho-ho-hos. Just need to remember to clean that off, otherwise it will be sort of a navy tinged blueberry bushel ho-ho-ho. Or maybe a shaded spruce one. I can't remember the last one we did now. Shaded spruce. So we'll do it that. Okay. And we will pop this through the classic mode punch. See all the different things you could do now, you're thinking, aren't you? Now you're thinking, oh, what other Christmas paper could I use? So you could do the perfectly plaid, but you could also do the Let It Snow one. If you wanted to do some Coastal Cabana or um, pool party ones, they would look good. Um, and just change the ribbon up. So let's start building. So in this case, it's going to have a tiny bit of gold in it. But it literally is just a tiny strip. And I'm OK with mixed metallics these days. It's quite on trend to have mixed metallics. So we're OK with that gold stripe. If you wanted to, you could still do the gold. Uh, maybe we will. But I'm kind of liking the idea of doing a silver tree. <laughs> just saying. Because it's a tree and it's silver. And I think it just goes better with the blue. Of course, that means we're going to have to change the ribbon. I have to change everything really but I'm sure I can find some that will work okay so we'll stick this on here I think I think it has to be silver with the blue really even though we've got gold stripes it just works better and then uh, dimensionals dimensionals here we go what do we think we like whoops Thank you very much, by the way, for everybody who has purchased my tutorials over the weekend. I've been blown away by how much you want my retreat tutorials. Thank you so much. I am delighted. Um, if you don't know how to get hold of them, then I'll pop a link up in my description later. But I've got a new shop, basically. A new online to store just for my courses and tutorials. So you can go and grab them over there. And I will continue to add to that site over Christmas when I've got some breathing space. Because I've got loads of old tutorials that you'd probably like too. Um, oh, I forgot to do my tag bit. Never mind, let's do that now. I have lots of old tutorials that, um, you know, they're still, the sets might not be 100%. Ooh, is it going to go? Don't kill my Christmas tree. Don't kill, there we go. Um, uh, lots of it might the set might be old but you might have that set still in your retired collection so you know why would you not want that um you can still use it okay so then the ribbon for this that i would use would be my white with silver trim okay a bit longer Or you could use the seaside sp oh seaside spray ribbon that would look gorgeous wouldn't it that would also look really nice so we'll do this we'll match that one over there got our little bow to go up there excellent and then i thought we'll put it on whisper white cardstock with a blueberry bushel base sophie says where'd you get the punches from i sell the punches sophie so um you can get them on my shop um if you don't know are you in the uk sophie that's the question to ask if you're in the uk you can buy them from me so this one is the pretty pines tree punch this one is the classic label and this is the tag topper and you can get lots of, you can get two different types of tag topper so yeah if you're local in the uk or even if you're in france netherlands austria or germany you can also purchase them from me if you're in a different country around the world then i will have to let you know where you can get them from uh, depending on where you are depends on whether you can purchase them or not some you know they're only available in stamping up countries um and if you're in like australia or the states or whatever or canada or New Zealand then I can let you know somebody I know over there who can help you but I can't sell to those countries unfortunately but that's okay right so there we go that's that then I think I'm going to pop a little whisper white top on 
There we go. Let's pop this on. Because even though I've got Whisper White Ribbon, I still think it will show up because of that silver edge. So... Yeah, so the good thing about stamping up is that everything coordinates. So the punches all coordinate with stamp sets and, you know, with each other and all the colours coordinate with each other. That's why I love it. Oh, look at that. See, that I knew this was going to work. So, <laughs> yes, I did kind of make it up on the fly this morning, but I knew it was going to work. I just knew. I just saw it and went, yes, we've got to do it in those colours. I'm going to have to show Robin now. I will send her a note. So Robin, I took yours and I made it into this. There we go. She'll be chuffed. Right, so now we'll pop on the bow. There we go. And now we have a blue, a blueberry bushel one. Hey Trudy. Thanks for joining us. We're just about kind of finished, but don't worry, I'm going to do a quick recap. So there is my blueberry bush, bushel version. It started off like this from something that Robin did okay and then I decided I wanted to turn it into a card so we turned it into this and then I decided we wanted to do it in another colorway so we turned it into this it's not fun I think that's great fun so we've got lots and lots of different colors and I just wish I had better light for you I must try and work out my lighting here and that's not doing too good but I think you can get the gist of it I think you can see them so we also did the blue one in the night of navy so these ones match the night of navy in the papers and then we did this one in the shade of spruce so those are the three colors obviously that you get with the papers ink wise and then I just went off piste and decided that we needed a blueberry bushel version because I think that's just so lovely and I think the little bit of gold matches with it. It goes with the silver. Who would know? You'd never know. Well, you would know. But I mean, you wouldn't care, I don't think. So, <laughs> so there you are. So if you if you see me on stage, you may well have one of these as a as a swap from me because I think these are just so adorable. And I've got all these trees and all these words to make up now. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just giving you a bit of pre-warning of what you might find in my little swap bag. But... <laughs> You might get some blueberry bushel ones, just extra, extra different ones. So, yeah, so there you go. I hope that's given you a little bit of inspiration on our Perfect Pines. Um, no, not Perfect Pines. That was last year. I keep calling it last year. So what have I done with the stamp set? Here we go. So I hope that's given you a little bit of inspiration on what you can also do with this. Perfectly plaid, which you can buy the stamps and the punch to go with it. And... Um, you can get 10% off if you buy them in, buy them together versus what you would pay separately. And I do like the Perfectly Plaid set. It is one of our guaranteed items, so it's not going to sell out, um, which is great. So you can go on and grab those. Lots of more tags and cards to make. Yes, exactly. I've got lots and lots to make. And I think, I think, oh, I think I'll have fun doing that. I might pop round to Debs later and do a bit of tag making, Debs. What do you reckon? <laughs> Not tonight, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we might be doing that. But yes, um, I hope that has given you. Oh, I'm glad that you've you've got some inspiration, Fiona. That's great. And if you want to see more from me, then obviously just hit the notification button. Um, I think on Facebook it's up sort of there-ish, uh, which says if you want to see Pip when she goes live, you can click that button. Oh, thanks, Alina. That's lovely. Um and then you can also see me over on YouTube. Uh, my subscribers are going up on YouTube, which is great. It means you must be enjoying what I'm doing. So that's good. So you can hop over onto YouTube twice a week. Sometimes I replay my Facebook lives over on YouTube. So don't be despondent if that's what you see. You say, oh, I've seen that before. Because it's just a reminder of stuff that you've seen. Um, and it gives you another chance to look at it again and maybe catch something that you might have missed the first time around. Uh, but I do have some new videos coming up shortly. So that will be fun of other things. And then obviously I'm off to on stage, but I'm here next week. So we will be doing more stuff next week. Um, I have a feeling I've just had this stamp set in front of me. I have a feeling that next week I might be playing with this one just a little bit because I love it. So I have got some things to show you, but um I will show them to you next week. So, yes, yeah, so we'll be doing probably something with so many stars next week because it's such a great stamp set too. Uh, and it's on my desk of things to play with. So, 
<laughs> so have a great week everybody thanks ever so much for tuning in and um thank you Debs. and i will see you all here again next week and if oh and if you don't forget if you're coming to class on saturday bring a mug bring your stuff you only really need like your crafting kit and adhesives and stuff like that but i will have some adhesives to sh uh, to sell so and i'll bring you I'll, I'll have your orders and your blends club orders at um class on saturday so don't forget to come along to that and get all your goodies then all righty lots of love to all of you have a marvelous week and i will see you again next week thanks for watching take care bye